Morning everyone. Uh, I got a few questions from friends on how the uh, Raptor computing system Blackbird puts ups. Uh, I haven't managed to get onto it until now. So today I'm going to show you a boot process A to Z. So this is the motherboard. Uh, I'm setting up in the test bench mode so I can show you clearly. Uh, so I haven't turned it on. Um, now let's power it up. So I'm going to Turn on my power supply unit here. So you can see that the, those lines here start flashing up. So uh, this motherboard comes with a uh, open BMC, which is a Linux operating system uh, responsible for uh, you know putting up all the component uh, before even the main uh, operating system boots. Uh, you can see those light, um, maybe it's a bit too too small to see. It show like um, on the light, say net, uh, SATA, UID. So literally, it's right now the boot sequence is is ongoing uh, within the Open BMC. Um, uh, so we have to wait until to all of those light uh, stop flashing, and then we can uh, trigger the boot sequences. Um, uh, so bear with me a bit here. So while waiting for that, I'm, I'm going to give you like a, a overview tour of this system. So this is my setup here. I'm running the, this is the Raptor Blackbird system uh, workstation. I'm running like a, a IBM Power 9 processor. This one is the 8 core, uh, the V2 version of it. Um, and the the RAM part, um, this system is amazing because this is the very first um, motherboard in the world that support uh, PCI Express Gen 4. And I have right here two of the uh, RAM. Um, each of them is 32 gigabyte um, uh, DDR4 ECC RAM. So in total, I have the um, 64 a gig of RAM. What is good about it is um, before the uh, before the Power Nine, the Power Eight system, and Power Seven, if I, I get it right, um, they does not offer the JDEX standard RAM. So you know you have to buy like a performance like server grade Centaur or CD like the very bulky huge RAM, which is good but really expensive and hard to source, which make the literally uh, impossible for consumer to get it. Uh, you can see the, the sequence has finished. Um, so yeah, I'll quickly finish with the, the, my set of um, overview here. So the uh, storage is the uh, Samsung 950 Pro uh, NVMe uh, M2 in 512 gig. Um, and the GPU, this is the, uh, the, the one I just installed um, this one is the Gigabyte Vega 64 uh, Overclock Edition in 8 gig of RAM. Um, you don't need this one because the the uh, the model will come with the um, uh, built-in uh, graphic, but it's just good enough for 2D uh, frame buffer. Uh, it's not good for you know gaming in any way. So you see the the boot sequence is finished, so the light is all completely off. Now I can actually boot the system. Um, give me a moment. Um, I have the uh, the jumper here and connect to the power pin header here. Uh, this is one of the ways to boot up. You can boot up the thing using the serial cable. You can use a serial cable connector here, and then you tell the um, uh, you you tell the Open BMC to boot the, the thing for you, or you can connect the to the uh, um, uh, RJ45 uh, Ethernet port here. This one is an isolated one, which connect only to the Open BMC. Uh, but in my case, I do a traditional way, which is the way that most consumer uh, desktop uh, works, uh, motherboard is, is like. All right, it's booting up. You can hear the fan start working. It's just only working at the beginning. Then it gets real, real, real quiet a bit later. So uh, let's see what on the screen. Hopefully. Um, yeah, you can see here the boot sequence is now start booting up. This one is the uh, um, the custom version of, uh, 
of the firmware from Raptor Computing System with their logo. Uh, they're a bit different to the upstream um, firmware one, but uh, it literally not that much difference uh, as long as in, in this, this computer required to boot up. Um, just a bit about here. Uh, we've uh, you can see here it comes with a built-in HDMI and this is the one that uh, show right here and uh, on my graphic card also have like the display port HDMI but uh, uh, the thing is like I for the security purpose I did not compile the uh, I did not compile the AMD GPU driver for the open PMC firmware because you know those uh, black box you know binary blob is I don't like it so I still run um, when I boot up. I connect my HDMI to the uh, there you go. It's booting up to the HDMI and then show the the screen here. So you can see it's now start booting up uh, Fedora. I'm using Fedora 32 running kernel 5.6.8. It should be boot up in in a moment. Uh, so what I do here with my setup is I uh, I disable the uh, the built-in GPU. Uh, um, there's like a header there you can uh, you can uh, toggle uh, and uh, once the put of you know finish um, the whole thing will be driven with the external GPU instead of the uh, internal one so there we go I think to there we go we got to the login one now so now I can safely remove my HDMI and it will the screen will switch to my display port on the external GPU. Voila, there you go. This is the genome desktop. Uh, this is the GDM, uh, the genome. So I'm going to type in my password and we're ready to get in. Um, I will be using a GNOME on the XOR instead of a GNOME on Wayland. There's, yeah, Wayland seems to be like okay, but there's some functionality like screen recording not working correctly yet. So I'm, I'm sticking to it. Here we go. We are in uh, Fedora 32 genome shell. Uh, so far, as far as I can see, everything worked perfectly. Uh, there's some uh, rough edges with the Fedora 32, which I'm working on to iron, to, to polish them out with the the, uh, the the Fedora team and other people in community. But as far as I can see, like pretty much all like the main software are running perfectly. So you have Firefox, you have uh, Chrome, or you can have this WebKit-based uh, uh, genome web, um, the same thing. Um, but yeah, you can you can do pretty much everything. It runs perfectly smooth, uh, and like this is this is like the perfect software. You can do everything literally. Um, you can play video, you can listen to music. Um, I'll, I'll demonstrate how it works. I mean, you you can sh I'll show you how to play video. Um, say where's all my video? Uh, jellyfish, for example, jellyfish, right? So this one is like a, a sample video clip. Um, this is running on the CPU at the moment, but I can switch to this one, switch to VA, VA API. So this one using uh, hardware acceleration with the GPU and it's smooth like that, look. So overall, all of your like, you know, normal day to day, uh, internet surfing, YouTube, watching movie, will, it's perfect with this machine. This machine is like beefy with a lot of like, you know, processor, you can do much more than that. Uh, than just watching movie. Uh, it's great platform for development. Um, like everything work from 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 my uh, my perspective as a developer. So you get like Java, you got Ruby, Python, uh, Rust, Go, like everything there. And and you have uh, on top of that, you have like a, a, a thirty two thread uh, at your disposal. You can do whatever with that. Like compiling software. It's just like a matter of like second and some sometime minutes, you know. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, I hope uh, you, you all enjoy this uh, quick tour. I plan to do like a, a, a thorough walkthrough of the system and also explain why I chose uh, this power PC platform. Um, you know, rather to the you know rather the other platform like x86. Uh, 
so yeah uh, i'll catch you up uh, once that video clip is out uh, take care see you all